Hey, so I know, I know, I've been gone for a bit, but I'm back now. Uh, before I left, a couple people have been asking me to do more videos for returning players. So now that Arc 3.0 is here, today we're going to be covering the new subclass systems, aspects, and fragments. So if you're just coming back to Destiny, or if you're new, or if you just don't understand the new class system with the aspects and fragments, then uh, I got you covered. So the old class system looked like this, three different trees that changed your melee and one of the three had different super abilities, uh, grenades were different based on which class you played, eh, overall they had pre-made setups that you had to choose the one that closest fit your playstyle, enter the new subclass 3.0 system, which now looks like this, all the classes have access to the same grenades, there's multiple melee options, jumps and supers. So now I'm gonna do what I do best, which is just make complex shit pretty easy to understand. Uh, so the old class system was kind of like ordering combos from Burger King. They're pre-made, you have to choose from what's there with zero flexibility. Can I take your order? Hmm. Uh... Oh, I'll have a, uh... No. Oh, maybe... No. Hmm. I'll have... No. Oh, maybe... Are you planning on ordering today, sir? I'll have a Krabby Patty. How original. And with extra onions. Daring today, aren't we? One Krabby Patty, extra onion. The new class system is like ordering from Subway. There's a lot more options and you can choose exactly what ingredients you want on your sandwich, no matter how disgusting it is or if it makes sense or not. And by sandwich, I mean your class. So you can mix and match the grenades, melees, supers to fit your playstyle. I won't be going over specific loadouts, you'll have to look for a different video for that after you finish this one first though. Kinda need that YouTube ad revenue, alright? The new like fall DLC, that shit ain't gonna buy itself. <laughs> uh, so, that's the new class system covered, now for the aspects and fragments. Depending on when you jump back into Destiny, you might have some aspects and fragments unlocked already, or all will be locked. So first, go to Ikora in the tower, which is right here, and buy them for your class. You can also buy your supers, melees, and all the other stuff for your subclass, basically. You get all that from here. And they're pretty expensive, so I suggest starting uh, with your main class first. Like, if you mainly Titan or whatever, start there and get all the different subclasses unlocked before moving on to the other two classes. Now, only Arc, Solar, and Void are here. I'll cover stasis later in the video, because that works a bit differently. So, what do aspects do? If your super is your ultimate ability, think of aspects as one tier below that. So aspects are kind of like your special ability. Uh, not as powerful as your ultimate, but much shorter cooldown and they're still pretty strong. And again, you can choose your aspect based on your playstyle because they do different things and make the entire loadout play very different. This number here tells you when you equip this aspect how many fragments you can use with it. Some have one, but most have two, and I, only one has three, but I think that one's for stasis. Now, fragments also alter your gameplay, but they kind of enhance what your aspects do. Some come with debuffs to your stats, so pay attention to what you equip. Uh, when you read the description, if it seems a bit confusing, just hover over it and you'll see this uh, little pop out over to the left or right with an explanation of what certain buffs and debuffs mean and also what they do. So yeah, that's the rundown on the new class system, aspects and fragments. Uh, just think about building your subway sandwich. Bread, meat, toasted or warmed, ingredients and sauces. Okay, actually, I, I know how this sounds, so this video is not sponsored by Subway. But if you subscribe, you could help me get sponsors one day. Um, no, just because you can mix and match everything doesn't mean that you should. Like, you know, you, you wouldn't put mayonnaise on a burger, would you? You wouldn't put mayonnaise on a burger, would you? Actually, you know what? Never mind. Don't answer that. I'm not starting a food war in my comment section. Actually, you know what? No, fuck that. Put a one in the comment section if you're actually a decent human and respect yourself enough to not put this abomination that somehow found its way of being categorized as safe for human consumption by the FDA. And I, I guess you can put it too in, in the comments if you eat this jar of white sludge that should be considered a war crime by the Geneva Convention. Yes, I am the known mayonnaise hater by my family and friends. Putting this on food should be a bannable offense. Yo, I really need to stop going off script during my videos, but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, back to Destiny. Yeah, just because you can make some match stuff, um, you know, doesn't mean that you should. If you choose the right melee, grenade, aspects, and fragments, the synergy that these have when the right ones are chosen is amazing. Not only can you have a fun class, but it's also pretty powerful. Combine a good class setup uh, with the right mods, exotics, and weapons, and you have peak Destiny gameplay. So this is my solar class setup. 
Uh, I pretty much just like to blow shit up and watch everything burn to the ground. Uh, not only am I hard to kill because of my exotic helmet and fragments working together, but I also have fire at my fingertips because of my melee and aspects. So, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I, <laughs> I forgot to talk about stasis. I actually did not write that into script. Uh, Alright, fuck it. I guess I'll record that part tomorrow. Three days later. Alright, so since Stasis is a part of the Beyond Light paid DLC, you can't access it from Ikora and by Aspects and Fragments like the other subclasses. Uh, it's actually unlocked one ability at a time through the Beyond Light questline on Europa. At the end of the quest, the subclass is unlocked, but now you have to go to the Exo Stranger, which is all the way down here, uh, to get Aspects and Fragments, which is half of the annoying part. So to get aspects, you have to complete a series of multi-part quests, and to get fragments, you have to complete quests based on PvE or PvP modes. But you can only get two a week, yes, you can only unlock two fragments per week. So that's the first half of the annoying part uh, when it comes to stasis. The other half is that you have to do the full main quest line and go through that entire process of getting aspects and fragments via quest for every single class. Nothing carries over, unfortunately. I love my Titan, but after doing that for my Hunter once and I realized I had to do that all, I had to do that grind like all over again, uh, Stasis was, yeah, it was pretty much just dead to me. Uh, until I had to make the which class should you play video, which I'll put a card up there, top right, you should check it out, a lot of people seem to like it. So yeah, you know, click that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the deal with Stasis and how the new class system and fragments and aspects work. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next or you want me to explain, drop a comment down below and subscribe for more desktop content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.